Nations. Nathan Latka with us this morning. Nathan, uh, you've been on our show before. You're a young guy. I think you're a millennial. I think you still qualify for that. I've got a question about people who make money in cryptos or meme stocks. If they've made some money, and we've had a lot of them on the show who have, not a great deal of money, but a couple of thousand bucks maybe. They've made it. Where do you think they should put that profit? Back into crypto, well, if you're back into meme stocks, or someplace else? Where? Well, if you're millennial and you made some money here, you've got to be thinking long term. You have to remember with the Biden administration, you're going to fight inflation like you wouldn't believe. One thing is for sure, money is going to be printed, which means if you're sitting on cash from those crypto gains, a dollar today might only be worth 50 cents or 75 cents a year and a half from now. So you want to take those gains. And listen, a first time home buyer is not about route to go. Get that FHA loan, put the minimum amount down, live in it, and let the asset value increase over time as the current administration continues printing cash. The second thing you want to look at a lot of you guys that have made money on crypto you're technologists you love what ethereum's doing you like what blockchain's doing take that technology mindset and go buy a side project use something like remote.com to manage remote employees and you can find these side projects doing a grand two grand three grand a month on places like github Go buy those companies, grow them with that technical prowess that you have. And lastly, Stu, we saw this last night. You saw the punches flying between the two fighters. One fighter is an Olympian, incredible athlete, amazing. The other guy's a YouTube celebrity. Audience is so important. If you're young today and you're sitting on cash from crypto gains, invest in building your own audience because it will pay off for you over the next 20, 40, 60 years. You might not be in a $20 million one-time fight with Floyd Mayweather, but you can use your audience to promote other things you create in the future to generate more cash flow. I hope you're wrong about inflation. If you think that the value of the dollar is going to go down 25 to 50 percent within the next year and a half, you're predicting dramatic inflation. Last 10 seconds, 20 seconds to you. Inflation. Stu, we're both praying here. I don't want to see it happen. We're going to see what happens. But I have to tell you about Trump's comments on crypto. There's a reason China is fighting so hard against crypto. When Trump's people and some of his smartest people and Biden's people and some of his best people, when you look at crypto and blockchain, you have to understand, is there an opportunity here? You go back, think about what happened in 1971. You think about dollar as the world reserve currency. Is there something the U.S. government can do here to actually bring blockchain in as an asset from a foreign relations perspective, et cetera? Have to remember, there's a reason China is fighting crypto so aggressively. Can the United States use that to its advantage? Nathan Latka, thank you very much for joining us. We always appreciate it and come back soon. Thanks, Nathan. Thanks.